Good morning, today is VEDA day four. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Today is Thursday, which this will go up on Friday. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I hope you guys don't get tired of me and you guys said you wouldn't be getting tired of me, so we'll see, but um, yeah, I my plans tonight, I'm going to see my therapist and I saw my new therapist last night, uh, which went great. We're talking about my past and history and then in talking about that to a new person that doesn't know me and has questions that have never been asked of me, it's bringing up interesting things and helping me to see things in a different way. It's very personal, so I, I don't think I would be sharing that on this channel, but uh, it feels good to be facing those things and to going to be going through them. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad it's Thursday, almost the weekend. My weekend plan so far, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it's the morning. <laughs> Uh, weekend plan so far on Saturday. I'm going to OA. I'm actually leading. There's a newcomers meeting at 8:30 in the morning, so I'm leading that. And then uh, we have our regular support group at 9, 9:30. Excuse me, 8:30. Yeah, 9:30. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I've had two cups of coffee, but it's still a little groggy, I guess. Um, so. After OA, so it'll get out about 10.30, 10.45, um, I'm seeing my therapist at 11, and um, after that, I don't really have any um, specific plans, just things I need to get done, because Sunday we'll be out of town I'm going to the zoo with my family, so I need to get you know, some household chores done, get my grocery shopping done, get my meal prep done. So I'm hoping to get that done on Saturday. I don't have any like errands to run necessarily, just grocery store, which I may do on Friday night. And um, just trying to plan ahead. Um, what else? I'm really enjoying watching everybody's beta and uh, I'm watching more YouTube channels of people in the community. You know, it breaks my heart seeing people struggle and I just want to, my personality is I just want to help everybody um, and I know I can't. So I'm trying to leave, you know, supportive comments, but I also want to be careful not to give people advice. I don't want to tell anybody what to do or how to live their life because I didn't want to hear it when I was struggling. So I try my best to just give my opinion of how I'm doing something and if someone can get something from that, then, you know, I hope, I hope they can. Um, we are going to be planning my dad's 60th birthday party. So I talked to my aunt and my brother yesterday and, um, we're going to rent a, um, a Grange and then, um, I'm going to do, my brother's making the guest list and then I'm going to do the invitations. My aunt's going to call and rent the Grange and then the food, um, we're going to kind of split. So my brother's going to pick up the cake and then my aunt and I are going to, between the two of us, um, work on the food stuff, which it's pretty easy stuff. Um, sandwiches, potato salad, uh, fried chicken, baked beans, you know, just kind of picnic stuff, um, but easy stuff too. So I'm looking forward to that. That's definitely on my mind. Um, I still have not heard from the tax lady, so I might call her one more time and then figure out how else to do it. It's completely last minute and I feel like kind of a dork about it. That money in general is really hard and it's a big stressor for me and I try not to think about it too much. Um, I have probably about seven or eight thousand dollars worth of debt of medical bills from 2012 that I seem to just be kind of treading water on and I, you know, I don't like feeling that way. It feels like a weight is like on me and um, I just don't seem to be getting ahead. So that makes me sad. I'm sorry. I, I don't even know that I should be talking about it because it just feels like bummer. Um, so anyway, I don't know why I brought that up, but I'm just like, it's just on my mind, I think is the problem.
so and now with the taxes coming up I'm afraid that I'm gonna owe and it just feels like never catching up but I know what you guys or I know you guys know what I mean and um, you know I already work full-time and I have a great job and I make good money um, and I wish I could just do YouTube and make money from that I know I know people do but I think the people that do that's their full-time job and uh, I don't know that I have enough things to say to do YouTube full-time um, I don't have like a makeup channel or you know kids that I could do you know what I mean like these people have like these big lives and big things to talk about um, or comedy channels and I just you know I'm just living um, and you know yes I'm losing weight and yes I'm working on recovery from an eating disorder and you know working on things like that but those are such personal things that I wouldn't want to share every minute of every day that I'm working on those things I share a lot of them and I want to share more but not everything so I don't know if that would be enough to uh, you know anyway <laughs> that's the problem with doing these in the morning is I'm just like kind of in my own head I had a dream last night that uh, so keeping in mind I'm single don't you know not dating anybody um, so in the dream <clears throat> I came home from work and <clears throat> my uh, fiance, which I don't even know who it was or is or whatever, um, was there and then his mother and his sister. And I was um, <clears throat> set to get married in the dream and there were flowers all around and pictures of flowers and there was a flower lady and so the mother-in-law and the sister-in-law were ordering flowers for my wedding and they were just about finished they just needed me to like sign on the dotted line and I get in there and I'm like so I can't even order my own flowers for my own wedding and they were like well we just thought these were beautiful and we just thought and so in the dream I'm yelling at them you know like trying to get them to understand you know how dare you that why is this not my wedding I'm the one getting married and you know and then they were saying, well, we're paying for it. You know, the mom was like, I'm paying for it. I should. And I'm like, no, you shouldn't. And I don't want your money. And I don't know. It was just a really weird dream, especially being that I'm, you know, single and not planning on getting married anytime soon. So, yeah, it was uh, interesting to say the least. So I wrote it down because I, I knew, you know, with dreams, sometimes when you get up, they kind of like escape so I wrote it down so that I would remember um, and I guess I'm gonna think about it throughout the day and just see like what's that about um, so yeah um, the other thing I wanted to do I think this is probably going longer than normal but um, we have these daily readers in OA and it's called for today and I wanted to read April 3rd because I read it this morning and I kind of thought you know that I, I liked that so it says, my wants outrun my haves in all things, though what I wanted most as a compulsive overeater was to be able to eat what I want when I want it. This illness is a symptom of want. What else did I want? More attention, more things, yes, and more, always more. Whatever I wanted, I thought I should have simply on the strength of wanting it. But the truth is I seldom needed the things I wanted. I am learning that what my life needs is the elimination of clutter and excess, which takes up time and space and energy. If I think I need something, I ask myself, what will it add to my life? For today, the true source of serenity of good feelings is not getting what I want, but wanting what I've got. I really liked that one today. Um, I actually overheard in a support group someone say on their refrigerator, they put a big sign saying it's not in here. Um, because we all tend to go to the fridge, go to the cupboard, go to the glass case at a coffee shop for something when we're wanting sweetness in our lives um, and trying to fill that with food. I know I certainly did it. I still do it. And I got to check myself on it when I do that. So I'm going to leave it at that. Happy Veda to you guys. Uh, thank you to all my friends that are joining me. 
Leah, thank you again. I'm so glad you suggested this and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.